but I'm gonna go grocery shopping and show you guys what I get. So stay tuned. What's up guys? It is the 15th. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Well, maybe not along with me, but I'm gonna go grocery shopping and show you guys what I get. So stay tuned. I just left Sprouts. I don't know if you guys have ever been there or if you guys have it in your area, but it says it's like a, uh, I don't know what it said, like a whole food market or something. It's basically like a hippie market. Oh, cool, she's not looking. Uh, it's basically like a hippie market. So a lot of like gluten-free stuff, uh, vegan stuff. And uh, I walked by this, you know, they had a little booth set up and it was a vegan protein. And you know, the dude gave me the pitch. He's like, you make protein shakes? So I entertained, I entertained the thought and uh, just wanted to hear him out. He's like, oh, the cows ferment this, that, and the other. And that's why people that are serious about building muscle drink so much whey protein. And, uh, and I like tasted it. I tasted the protein, like a sample of the protein drink. He's like, yeah, see, see how it doesn't taste chalky? And that shit tasted so chalky, like, I don't know, I've never had chalky protein powder. Like the only time that I could remember that I've had chalky protein powder was like when they were first starting to make like protein powder. But anyways, needless to say, they didn't have everything I wanted, but they did have Walden Farms on sale. So that was cool. So uh, I got to stop by a few other places. I got to stop by to get some eggs, some chicken and uh, some other non-vegan foods not that there's anything wrong with that if you know that show put it in the comments yeah. so let me show you everything i got all right let's go step by step all right the first thing i got are some tortillas so i got the mini street tacos if you guys have been following me for a while on the gram on instagram put it right here um, you've known that I made like, you know, little tacos. These things are 19 carbs for three of these little tacos, uh, two protein and one and a half fat. So really good macros. All right, there you go. You're welcome. Um, next thing are these the bigger tortillas. So if I want like a smaller burrito, uh, one of these tortillas is two fat, 14 carb and two protein. So alongside that, what I'll do is I'll add um, some mozzarella cheese. You could add any type of cheese you want. Um, like you could do the uh, mixed Mexican cheese. Um, this one, or there's also non-fat cheese. Sometimes I'll do that. But this one only has six grams of fat per serving and one serving is quite a lot. And then you also get seven grams of protein with it. So we got that stuff, we got the chicken, uh, like I told you. So we got about a little over 10 pounds of chicken. So I'll show you guys how I prepare that in a different video. Um, and I'll also link you to the slow cooker chicken that I've made in the past. Um, but that's that for protein source and it's sitting on how much? 100, 150 eggs. So the reason, uh, the reason I buy uh, this many eggs at one time is because I make large omelets. So I know that I could, you know, I could buy the liquid egg whites um, because I'm throwing away a lot of yolk most of the time. But sometimes when I'll make an omelet, which I'll link you to that video as well, uh, but when I'll make an omelet, um, I'm using anywhere from like six to ten eggs just depending on you know how hungry I am or how many uh, macros I got left for the day uh, Some carb sources and snacks we got just regular old old-fashioned oatmeal I also have this um, as a like a morning meal. Whoa, I also have this as like a morning meal uh, and I'll mix that with protein powder and then some frozen berries. So you can mix any fruit you want in there. 
but if you guys have not tried like a frozen fruit in your oatmeal, highly suggest it. So frozen berries. Uh, and then what I'll do, just to add a little bit more sweetness, I'll throw some stevia on there or some sugar-free syrup. So this for one serving, which is a lot. So it's 30 milliliters, which is a lot. If you weigh it out, it's only five carbs. All right, so try this out. There's, this is just Walmart's brand. There's other brands out there and they're anywhere from like five to 11 carbs per serving. Um, so I'll throw that on there. And then what you could do also, this is optional. You could get some PB2 or this is PB Fit. There's a lot of uh, powdered peanut butters out there. This one is one and a half fat, six carbs and four protein per serving. So if you want that like peanut, peanut buttery taste and save a lot on calories, something like this will do it. So two tablespoons of this uh, is like I said, one and a half fat, six carbs, four protein, as opposed to two tablespoons of like a regular peanut butter is gonna be around 14 fat um, and maybe around the same carbs and protein. So you're saving you know, 10 to 12 grams of fat, which is an easy, like what's that, 100 or more calories just from switching to this. Um, so you can mix that into your oatmeal as well or into your protein shake if you want a, uh, you know, a peanut buttery taste. So we got that. Uh, some more snacks that I like to have uh, just kind of on the go are some rice cakes. So I got some, these are the ones from, uh, that place I told you guys about sprouts so this is plain these are salted and then I got sodium free as well uh, not that it really makes a difference I just wanted to taste the difference and then if you guys have not tried these ones tomato and basil rice cakes highly suggested all right you're welcome thank me later uh, that and then one of my go-to snacks Lenny and Larry's chocolate chip cookies. Uh, so what, for one of these, it's it's quite a lot. Um, you know, I only have these if I haven't ate most of the day, or if I'm, or if I feel like you know I want that that sweet taste because you guys know I got a sweet tooth. Um, for one cookie, it's 12 fat, 48 carbs, and 12 protein. Although these guys. <laughs> If you guys are not aware, these guys did get sued because supposedly they didn't have enough, uh, they didn't have the protein that they said on there. So, um, but I still count it as what it says there. It's not gonna make a huge difference in my nutrition as long as I'm consistent with it. Um, so that's for the snacks. And then the last thing I got, this is not technically not a grocery or, or food, but I got a pre-workout. So I'll explain a little bit more detail of um, why I got this pre-workout uh, as opposed to others but uh, the main point the main reason I got it was just convenience uh, they sell this particular one at Walmart now uh, and it was either I can't remember it was either like 15 or 20 bucks so not bad um, for 30 servings of this um, it has a little bit of beta alanine creatine monohydrate um, what else and just some other fillers, of course, in there. Uh, but primarily, the reason I get this is for the beta alanine and for the uh, caffeine that's in it. Um, but we'll go into that topic on a different video. So these are kind of the staples of my grocery list and what I'm gonna be uh, taking throughout this cut. I'll uh, do another one of these videos if you guys like it with a little bit more snacks. But that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's leave a comment down below on what your favorite go-to snack is. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.